I'm Jake Johnson. I'm an artist at Stargate Worlds. I went to art college at the Art Institute and at Portfolio Review actually um, I got interviewed uh, for an artist position on this project uh, that was back in uh, 2005. I contacted uh, a friend of mine who was also an artist here uh, and he said the position is still available. Um, he talked to the art director and got an interview and I shipped out. I basically take what the art director, the concept artists, um, visualize down on paper um, their, their thoughts, ideas, uh, based on the, the story that uh, content delivers. I take basically those ideas and make them come alive. Uh, I do heavy work on um, 3D assets, some texturing. Primarily, I guess my, my, my sort of little claim to fame here at, at Stargate Worlds is um, the, the sky domes. Um, basically, I do uh, I do all the skies here um, that are in the worlds uh, that that you'll see in the game. So basically, like any world that you go to, if there's a, if there's a sky, I've probably did that. Some individuals at the studio they suggested I get uh, familiar with the show. After the first couple episodes, um, I you know I was hooked. It was it's just a great show. Um, my favorite season is uh, the entire season two, I think. Um, it's just it's just an amazing season. I'm really excited to work with uh, Howard, our art director. I kind of look forward every day to finding out oh what's he gonna what's he gonna say next? What's he gonna come up with next? Um, how is he gonna critique my work uh, to help me uh, achieve and strive uh, for my, my future goals? Look at Jake, he's amazing. <laughs> look at this. Oh hey whoa! <laughs> I really love working beside. Um, Austin, he's, he's a great, uh, he's a great mentor, and I feel that um, just just all of the artists on the team, uh, I get a lot of uh, great, great feedback from, and it's it's just a fun time, you know, working with these guys. One of the coolest things that I've worked on here was the sky. The closest thing I could compare to would be like Alaska. We had an idea to do this um, aurora borealis effect, exactly like the Northern Lights. Um, you would be playing along, look up in the sky, and see this huge, massive array of colors just like flowing in the, in the sky, basically. Um, that's the most exciting time I've ever had working, working on something, because the, the, the technical aspects of it were, were so intense. Um, I had a lot of help from uh, our, our technical artist, uh, Scott Hill. Just what we come up with, we both just sat there and kind of just looked at it and we're just like, yes, this is awesome. I not only want to give them uh, an unforgettable experience when they're playing this game, but um, I really want, the, want to give them a feeling of um, like they belong there, like, like this is actually some place that could exist. Um, I, want, I want to give them a reason to, to look up. So right now we are looking at um, Dakara. Skydomes are made up of a bunch of different parts. Uh, rather than just painting um, a, a picture and cutting it up uh, into pieces for a skybox, we actually have them mapped out onto a, um, a geosphere. But basically they're, they're made up into a, a pan, which is a panoramic of the, the actual horizon um, going up halfway. Uh, doing a 360 uh, of what you see here and then the second part of it is the top like if there's a galaxy or planet in there th those would be put on to the uh, the, the, the top uh, map is what what I refer to it as um, and those are all compiled in in materials um, together through these through these little little nodes here so when I received the the concept they showed uh, a couple planets, uh, a couple moons in in the picture. All of the establishing shots for the world uh, were were centered around that uh, that particular mountain. I would say this, what you see here on the screen, is probably what would sell this as Dakara. Um, there would be terrain here, so the mountain would be would be somewhere right here. We have the freedom to do whatever we want with from that point. We could even add a couple planets here, knowing that 
Um, they weren't shown in the show, but since the show only displayed one portion of the sky, it, it really opens up a ton of possibilities. During the weeks, it gets really cold in this in this department here. So this is what I have to uh, to have to do my artwork. Uh, first line of defense is the hoodie. The drawstrings, I, I sort of like let them just let them hang because it's a nice little curly cue style here. I like to keep keep my toes nice and warm, and I bring my my slippers in here. And finally, my blanket. And then for those days when it's ultra cold, but I still need the fine touches that an artist needs. I have my cheapy fingerless gloves. A video was developed by Nick LaMartina. It was basically like a compilation of all the artwork that we've done, everything we've done so far uh, up to that, that point in time. The things that I saw were, were just phenomenal. I couldn't wait to get out of the meeting and continue working on what, what I was doing. Um, I, I think that that moment was the moment that I knew that the, the road to completion was, was soon. Um, and, and the funny thing is the video that, that we showed, it was work that wasn't even finished. Uh, it, none, none of the, the worlds were, were lit. Um, there, there were certain assets that weren't in place. But that being said, it's like, I still couldn't believe it was to the par um, that was shown. Um, on the video. It just gives me uh, great, great feelings for the rest of the project.